everybody. We, oh man, what a week. So we've been back in Florida for maybe a week and a half now. And the past week has just been nonstop rain and thunderstorms and just eh, nasty. But we got some good work done to the boat. We made some upgrades here and we installed our feathering propellers. And I got a freezer. We got Sierra an angle 12 volt freezer. We can now have ice cream and smoothies. <laughs> and ice for your water. So we made some upgrades and today we're heading up the coast. We're on our way back to Long Island for the summer. We decided that we're gonna lifeguard again. Probably gonna be our last season lifeguarding, but it's just gonna be good to see friends and family and have some diversity in our jobs. Might take a little break from this. And the whole reason that we're going back, we have two, two of Billy's really good friends are getting married, so we have two weddings to go to. Shout out to Chris and Tom. But they're not marrying each other, they're separate weddings. Yeah, but if they were marrying each other, that's okay too. We need to see his family, we need to give them their time. And in order to bring Jay to the Caribbean, she needed a lot of stuff that we didn't have that would have been a big pain in the butt to do in the Bahamas, so. Like blood work and, and shots and vaccines and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, and we didn't have a car in the Bahamas and driving to different vets would have been just too much of a hassle. So I got all of her stuff started because uh, some of it takes a couple months too. So. And while we're in New York, and especially once the lifeguard season ends, we'll have a couple weeks still um, up there. And we're going to do even more work and upgrades to the boat. So we'll probably replace our rigging probably get new sales and just a lot of other work that needs to be done. So it'll give us a good chance to kind of reset, do everything we gotta do to really get ready for the Bahamas and Caribbean. Yeah. There's still storms everywhere and there's not much wind so we're probably just gonna be motoring all day today. But at least we're motoring out in the ocean. We'll catch the Gulf Stream a little bit. Uh, give us a little boost, and if we get a little breeze, we can throw the sails up and uh, just try to dodge these storms. And the ocean looks pretty calm from the cameras and, and reports and everything like that, so hopefully. And hopefully we can catch a fish. We talked to a few people around here, and, and my friend Jeremy said he thinks that the fish are probably seeing our line because we don't have really clear leader line on one of our poles especially it's just regular yellow line so we got 50 pound test fluoro carbon leader it's supposed to be really really clear so they can't see it so we'll try it out see if it works all right here we go The sun's actually coming out just a tiny bit. First time we've seen the sun in like a week. There's Jupiter Inlet. I said this before, Jupiter Inlet's not a very super safe inlet. Um, you don't really want to go through it in any type of rough conditions, but the ocean's pretty flat today and we have an incoming tide which makes any uh, chop or, or anything just a little bit less. Um, whereas when you have an outgoing tide against the wind and the chop, kind of stack them up and make them a little bit bigger. But it looks like it's totally calm out there, so hopefully it is all the way to the Gulf Stream. That'd be pretty nice. Definitely some storms out there, but this one that just passed us, everything's going from south to north. So we should be clear of that one, and hopefully we don't get any more big ones out while we're out in the ocean. Jetty's got her PFD on, right Jetty? Thank you. 
passing some of these big patches of sargassum weed and uh, trying to catch a fish. We got a fish! This was on for a while. How do you know? Because I saw it and I was like, and I thought you were by it. What do you think it is? Should I grab the gaff? I don't know. very accomplished here aboard Adrenaline. Billy's filleting the fish and we did not just catch one fish, we caught two fish. Baby flying fish. Not baby, I guess, but there was a flying fish in his belly. That's what he was eating. So we actually decided instead of hopping along the Florida coast, we're just going straight to Charleston. So the sun's just getting a little low and uh, we're off of Cape Canaveral right now. We have some cruise ships going by. We kept checking the weather and the forecast while we were still in service along the coast. And we decided to look pretty clear. We're making good, good headway, especially with the Gulf Stream pushing us along. So. We're just going straight to Charleston. It was 345 miles from Jupiter, something like that. Um, and we've been averaging like eight and a half knots. Um, we had to motor sail a little bit in the beginning and then uh, just sailing now. 276 miles left to go. And we'll probably be there, not tomorrow morning, but the next morning. Hopefully we'll arrive pretty early. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can sail the whole way and hopefully we have good weather the whole way, so knock on wood.
dinner time. Fresh mahi. Nice sunset behind us. Day two of our trip up to Charleston and it's a rainy, crappy day today. We've just been laying around, just kind of getting used to being on the ocean for more than a day. Just had some more dolphins swimming around the boat. No, I think they took off. We've been on and off sailing. We did, we've sailed most of the time so far, but we just had to turn the engines on an hour ago. One engine because the wind's just getting real light and shifty. But for the most part, we were able to sail and making good time. We were averaging close to nine knots. Now I think we're losing the Gulf Stream a little. So uh, we're averaging like eight, probably like eight knots right now. Getting there, I think we only have 100 miles left to go or something. So we'll be there tomorrow morning. Not going to the bathroom once and we've been trying to get her to go on the trampoline. Go potty, Jets. Go potty. Storms on and off, just rain squalls, really. Go potty. The first time all day, we actually saw a sign of the sun. Pretty out. How you feeling? on a vlog. Hello. We have spent the last 48 hours at sea. We have had success in catching two dolphins, seeing two pods of dolphin. Three. Three. Yeah. Three. I missed one. And Jenny had success in both departments. So we are good. Go in the bathroom. Number one and number two. Pulling into Charleston Harbor right now. Uh. Finally on land, yes. We both took showers and it felt so good. My brain was like in a fog when we got off the boat. Jetty's happy to be walking around. How was that trip overall? We're still starving, so maybe we shouldn't talk about it until after we eat. That was the, the longest time I've been offshore. For, we were offshore, 48 hours pretty much, maybe a, a little longer. The first night we had a good dinner with some dolphin, but then yesterday it got, it wasn't like rough, but it was just, we were moving the around. The swell got pretty dang big. Yeah, actually it was, there was some big swells. It was like five, five foot swells probably. Six feet swells. Um, but it was right at our stern in pretty long period, so it wasn't terrible. But it was just not where you wanted to eat a meal. So the only thing we ate yesterday was pretzels? like a handful of pretzels, a handful carrots. of carrots. And some chips and salsa all day. <laughs> so we are. I, I didn't. We didn't eat anything this morning either. And it's noon now. We're, I'm starving. Look at that dog with the boat.
All right, we got some work done here in Charleston, and now it's time to go explore. We're gonna check out Charleston Harbor. Right, dinghy's launched. <laughs> 